Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be uh, pulling some animal cards and to see what animal energies, what the animals have to say uh, about the weeks of October and how energies they're coming through to assist you with. So let's go here. Our first week we have the beautiful little scarab beetle. Little scarab beetle here. Um, it's coming through, let, coming through with its energy for this first week of October here for you. Um, reminding you that things that you may not have thought was bringing a service to you or good to you, it's going to um, kind of want you to take uh, recede in that a little bit and, and go back through things that you thought were not uh, helpful in your, in your situation or in your growth for this month of October. Um, you know, just as though, like this is fall, the, the leaves are starting to fall off the trees. And you may think, oh, you know, those poor beautiful trees, they've lost their, <laughs> they've lost their leaves. <laughs> um, but again, that's nourishment for the soil. You know, that's nourishment for the soil, for the insects. You know, they can uh, burrow underneath them, start getting ready, and starting to go dormant for the winter. Uh, the little squirrels, they, the squirrels, they build their nests uh, closer into the tree trunk in winter. So they're going around gathering acorns and plant, you know, and planting or burying their acorns for winter. And they're rebuilding their nests, getting ready for the harsh uh, coldness that will be coming in within the next few months. So the scarab beetle wants to remind you, it wants to bring you that energy for this first week of October here, is to... Uh, so don't look, don't have a sense of loss and, and don't look back to things you've discarded. Because maybe some of those things now, um, you know, you need to pull, but you need to pull that energy from some something that you've discarded and bring it back into, into the now for the first week of October. In the second week of October, you have, you have the beautiful bison bringing its, its energy. It says on the bottom of the card, recognize the riches of the past and the abundance of the present. So again, he's just uh, reminding you again of what the little scarab beetle says here. You know, that there's this, there's this, what you've discarded can hold a secret. And the bison is also, you know, standing here, standing here and putting all his energy and stomping his foot down into the earth. And and telling you to uh, you know to recognize to recognize things from your past or things you've discarded, and it's time to you know there may be a situation coming up this this month of October for you where you need to start you need to revisit the the past or some of the lessons you've learned and and use them for for the use them as a knowledge for yourself this month. And then for the third week, we have the beautiful little deer. This little beautiful deer is telling you, is telling you to listen. Not just to listen to your, your own instincts, but to, to listen to what's going on around you and be very aware. You know, pick up pieces and parts of, uh, I don't want to say eavesdrop, but it's what it sounds like I'm referring to. But pick up pieces and parts of, of conversations and, and things that you can use to help you, help you throughout the uh, throughout the week, this week of October, the third week of October, to just listen closely, and uh, you know, remember that you know the deer is now being fall. They're they're start the bucks are getting their their antlers are starting to, you know, show off. You know they're showing off now. Now it's time for the big bucks to pull in the herd. And bring it into a community, bring themselves into a, a community again, and uh, and huddle together and, and be as one, so they can be more, so they can survive. So this little deer is telling you to use your instincts and your and hear things and, and listen, hear things and, and listen to those things though. Just don't hear them, but but pay attention and, and listen to what's going on around you to help you. 
uh, throughout the week, throughout the month of October. Pay close attention to what others are saying. Now for our fourth week, we do have the we have the beautiful porcupine here. Okay, so um, when you have a porcupine is coming in, and when the sunlight hits when the sunlight hits a porcupine's quills, it just shines and glows like the sunshine. It just gives out a off a beautiful light, and when the and also when porcupines are happy, they they do a little they kind of. They prompt, they <laughs> they prance around and, and they like they're like they're doing like a little dance. They do like a little dance. So the porcupine wants you to to not to take its energy of it of its brightness of its lovingness um, of its happy glowing energy. It, it does not want you to to throw your quills. It does not want to release. Does not want you to release your your quills. Or, or your harsh words out onto others this month. This is this month the, ener the energy from the porcupine is just to have a bright, glowing, uh, caringness of yourself, and and to go and enjoy yourself, and, and do a little jig, do a little dance, you know, uh, enjoy the coolness of the weather now, and and uh, just enjoy the, the and also enjoy the sun when the sun does come out in the fall. You know, it feels extra. It gives you an extra warmth feeling. And that is what the porcupine wants you to remember for the whole month of October here. It's just to feel the warmth and love. Feel warmth and love and do something that you enjoy. And don't go stabbing and throwing harsh words or going out to harm someone. So those are the messages for these animals' energies that are coming forward uh, for the month of October. And I thank you and you have a great day. Bye.